Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't even figure out like the right position, but I am here today. I'm gonna be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. It's been a while since I've done one, since I've done one of these. Excuse this nasty ass pimple I have. It looks so much more red on camera than it does in reality, like off camera. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. But it looks horrible. I've been breaking out. I have one right here. I have two massive ones right here. It's all bad. I had one right here like about a week ago and that was huge, but that one went away. Unfortunately, this one, I've been messing with it and I've been messing with these two, so it kind of takes longer to get rid of them when you're messing with them. But I have, I don't know, I get like this feeling like where I have to pick at it. Like, I don't know, I just pick at my face a lot and I know it's not good but let's just jump right into this video I'm so excited to be filming I haven't been filming for a while I've been really sick my son was really sick for like a month with bronchitis it was so annoying because I took him to two doctors and neither of them wanted to prescribe him antibiotics they were just like just give him cough medicine he'll be fine ended up having to take him to the ER where they finally gave him antibiotics and he has gotten so much better thank god I'm still a little sick and then I actually had a really massive panic attack last night and I don't even know why to be honest with you like it just came out of nowhere like I was talking to my mom and all of a sudden you know what let's just get right started and all the products will be linked down below so I'm just gonna kind of go through my makeup and talk so yeah so I had a massive panic attack last night um I don't know what triggered it, and honestly, I hadn't had a panic attack in years. I mean, I've probably had, like, minor ones where, like, it does, it's not really noticeable, where I just overthink stuff, but the way I had it last night, I had never had, I hadn't had one like that in years. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Um, boyfriend calls, right before he's going to work. Let's just roll on through. So I was talking about my panic attacks. Yeah, it was very sudden. I was talking to my mom. My mom's moving out in January. So I'm going to be by myself. I don't know if maybe that triggered it. But something triggered my panic attacks. And I was like, what the hell? I literally felt like I had a rock on my back. Like, as if I was, like, up against a wall. And, like, a rock was, like, crushing me. I could not breathe. I could not stand up straight. I started crying. I was hyperventilating. I was so scared out of my mind. I was just like, what the hell is going on? Like, like, what the hell is going on? Like, I, my mom was about to call 911. I was like, no, just give me a second. Like, at first, I didn't think much of it. I didn't think it was a panic attack. I just thought something else was wrong. I just thought something else was wrong. And I was just like, just give me a second. So the panic attack happened. I thought it was a heart attack at first, but then I was like, no, it can't be. Like, I would be in so much more pain. I wouldn't be able to walk or anything. But, and so it kind of passed. My back was still hurting. I went to bed. My mom gave me a pill for the pain. A few years ago, I had the same thing. And I woke up this morning remembering it and I was like what the hell maybe it was a panic attack sorry I can't talk when I'm doing my brows for some reason so then I woke up this morning I felt a little better but my back still hurt and I was so close to just even calling out of work because I couldn't like I could not sleep last night because of it and I was just so exhausted but your girl has bills to pay so I had to force myself to get up my mom even thought I was just going to stay home, but I couldn't, unfortunately. So that happened. Uh, I'm not 100, like I said, I'm not 100% sure as to why it happened. But my mom thinks I should go to the doctor for it. I don't think I should go. Just, I mean, maybe I should go get like a checkup and see maybe just in case it wasn't a panic attack. But... My doctor right now is like an hour away from my house because I moved and they still haven't transferred 
my insurance to the new county that I'm living in. So, I don't know if I want to drive all that tomorrow. I have so much to do tomorrow. I actually have a job interview as well tomorrow, so I'm pretty excited. So I'm going to go do the other eyebrow off camera because I just take forever to do my brows. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows always come out so different now. I don't even, I don't even know why. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean those up. I feel like my brushes like disappear. I don't know why. I just feel like they disappear. Anyways, yeah, so that happened. I'm still just trying to figure out what really happened. Other than that, I have been pretty busy working with my mom moving and all. I have a lot to get ready. Like, I have a lot of things to do around the house before she moves. I haven't decorated for Christmas yet, which is a bummer. I just haven't had any time, but I did talk to my mom and I told her I did want to do it this coming weekend. So hopefully we get it done by Saturday. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to vlog it because I still don't have my vlogging camera back, which really annoys me. But I mean, I guess that's what happens when your camera freaking breaks and you have to take it in for service. It takes forever to get it back and it sucks. So, how was everybody's Thanksgiving? Mine, to be honest with you, was kind of awkward. Let's be real here. Because I had just, like, been having... I'm not having... I haven't had issues. It's just... Something happened and my cousin and I just aren't on, like, good terms. We're not on the best terms. No idea why I just did that. We're not on the best terms right now. And, I mean, I get it, like... Should happen, I'm not going to go into details with it, but it should happen. And I get why he's upset. So it was really awkward because I hadn't seen him since all of that. I don't know. It just, honestly, this last Thanksgiving just didn't really even feel like Thanksgiving, to be honest with you. It just felt like a regular dinner. Like a regular family dinner. It didn't feel... I just didn't get the Thanksgiving vibe this year. It ended alright. I ended up, my boyfriend ended up picking me up. And we just came back to my house. And he spent the night. And we just pretty much just slept. And I didn't have to work the following day, which was pretty awesome. <laughs> I didn't feel like working anyways. I wasn't really going to call out if I did have to work. But I don't work Fridays. Unfortunately, I do work Saturdays, which sucks because I can't really do anything Friday night. Unfortunately, I did get my hours cut at work, which sucks, so I kind of have to look for another job. It's so dumb because my boss had told me he was going to give me a raise in November, but instead of giving me a raise, they cut my hours, which kind of really pissed me off in a way because I worked my ass off the last three months to earn that raise and then to come and find out like oh no you're not getting a raise we're cutting your hours instead it's like okay what the hell like if you're gonna cut my hours at least give me a raise you know but no so i'm gonna go and set my this is such a good concealer you guys i really like it i just feel like the shade i got is a little too bright for my under eye you guys see how bright it is on my lids. It's pretty freaking bright and it looks almost white once you blend it out. So I definitely have to get another shade. But I do like the shade to like carve out my brows and, cons and prime my lids. My eye is so watery. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh my god, hopefully it stops. Stop it right now. I feel like I've got like hair in my eye because I was shaving my face like with uh, like removing like the hair on my face and yes I removed the hair on my face. I have like a little razor especially for removing hair on your face and oh my god you guys I was cha like taking off the hairs from right here with the stupid razor. The razor 
I got a little too close to my lashes, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but I cut off some of my lash on this side. So these lashes, like my lashes are so much longer on this side than they are on this side. It's so bad. I was like, oh shit. So now I don't really know what kind of look I'm going for yet. So I'm going to be going in with the Morphe 35, 3502 palette. Don't judge me. My palette is such a mess. It's kind of embarrassing. So what are your plans for the holidays? For Christmas, I have something in mind of what I'm going to do. I just can't really say anything right now. Not until I talk to the baby daddy about it because, yeah. But I have no plans for New Year's. Unfortunately, my boyfriend works New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, which is a total bummer, but... I mean, I'm sure we're going to do something during the day for New Year's. My eye literally needs to stop watering. So I've really been wanting to do more of these. Like, chatty videos. Because lately I've only been doing, like, quick tutorials. Where it's just the music in the background. And I know a lot of people, like, really want to actually get to know you. So they prefer, like chatty videos i'm off tomorrow so these are like my off days are like the days where like i take him into school like later since he goes to preschool he doesn't have to be there at a specific time not like if he's like actually in school school like kindergarten so i'm gonna do one eye and then i'm gonna go and do the other eye off camera because i don't want to make this too long of a video So have you guys gotten any of like the new collections coming out? Have you guys, what did you guys buy for Black Friday? I only bought, for Black Friday I only purchased two, I already only ordered like from two companies just because I had already bought in so much makeup like the week before. Um, not even thinking like, oh, maybe I should just wait for Black Friday, you know, but you know, I just purchased makeup i went a little ham the last few weeks buying makeup and you guys will probably actually see my makeup haul before you see this video i've really been loving these um well, i'm not even using any right now but i've really been loving the jacqueline hill brush collection i'm like really debating on maybe i should get like another set just so i can have like backups and Cause I don't know if it's limited edition or if it's permanent. Cause I know a lot of her stuff. Like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, her stuff. She says it's limited edition, but it ends up just staying forever. With more, at least with Morphe. With all her other collabs, I guess not really. So are you guys the type of people to do your eyes after your foundation or before? I really want to know. I always do my eyes before my foundation, just cause I get a lot of fallout. So I rather avoid ruining my face makeup. I've been so into like cut crease, like half cut crease or full on cut crease lately. I've really been practicing like perfecting it. And I mean, I still don't have it completely down cause I know like people just like, there's some makeup artists like just like one swipe and they got it. Girl, no, I take forever to do it. This video is gonna be so long, you guys. I'm so sorry. Cause it's already like 20 minutes in and I'm just barely doing my eye. I'm just building up that color to make it more intense. I feel like my man is gonna call me right when he gets to work asking, did you put the baby to sleep already? Which my boyfriend now is not my baby daddy, just so you guys know. Okay, so I'm going to go and cut the crease. For this, I do not talk at all, you guys, just because I'm, like, with a mirror. Like, extra, like, in my face with a mirror, you guys, so. I did see this video with Rocio. She's, like, really good with cut crease, and, like, she does, like, all these colorful-ass, color like, makeup looks. She did say, like, to make your 
brush as flat as possible that way you get like the best cut and to coat both sides of your brush with concealer well she uses a base I don't have that base I just use concealer I really do want that base it's the P Louise base I've heard so many things about it so many good things about it but I don't know if I want to pay 20 bucks for a little tube I don't know if it's worth it let me know in the comments down below for the lid shade I'm gonna go in with this really silver color it's really pretty so this look was inspired by daisy marquez she kind of did this look recently on her video this is the makeup geek foiled shadow in charmed i have always really really enjoyed makeup geek foiled eyeshadows so i'm gonna go over like that concealer just a little bit with that dark brown just because it kind of disappeared because I like cut the crease. And this is like a really defined brush, so it helps. It just really helps when you have like a smaller defined brush to get into like those really really close edges well, I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera so I will be right back so I'm not sure how much of my eyeliner you guys saw but So I'm going to go in with my NYX Can't Stop One Stop. Anyways, so I have a lot of plans for my Instagram and my YouTube. And honestly, I am so excited. I've actually been getting a lot of help from Jennifer Gerard. She's the CEO of Gerard Cosmetics. She's been giving me like her input. And I've been giving her like my ideas and like we were, like just bouncing off of it. She's really really helped me out and it's incredible like to think like a CEO of a makeup brand you know is helping me out and you know she's so great. She has been helping out all these like micro influencers. You know she like she opened up her affiliate program to like smaller people like and I think that's just such a great it's been such a huge opportunity for me I'm so blessed to like be able to be a part of the team and I know like a lot of the girls like I've made so many friends like there's girls like I talk to like on a constant basis now because of it so I just think like overall like it's just what she's doing is so great and I'm living for it and and I mean her products are amazing like the formula to her lipsticks her liquid lipsticks are great the formula to her actual like regular lipsticks are amazing like I've been a fan of her company since I started my makeup journey and that was like a few like what three four years ago speaking of she just messaged me on Instagram I feel like this foundation is not really full coverage. <laughs> I feel like I have to go in with like a second layer of foundation. I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use a Makeup Revolution concealer. This is a good concealer. I mean, it's alright. It's not. I like really bad under eyes. Like, right now because. With me, honestly, if I don't get one good night of sleep, I get dark circles under my eyes. It's just one night and I'm screwed. And since last night, I couldn't sleep because of my pain in my back. I mean, this isn't like the best concealer 
I know a lot of people have raved about it, saying like it's a dupe for like shape tape, but I just don't see it. Like I kind of have to go over it a few times. So I started doing like a new technique and I didn't do it today because I just completely forgot. But I've been doing like my under eye before like my foundation and concealer and I actually really like how it looks. So I'm going to go and do the bottom lash line. So I started a new Instagram page because I feel like my other Instagram was kind of like legit dead. I had so many followers. I had like 3.5, almost 3,500 followers. But it's weird because I'm getting like the same amount of, I'm getting the same amount of likes on my new Instagram that I was getting on my old Instagram with the more followers and I have less followers now on my new page. So it's really weird. So... So like my jam, like my thing is fall makeup looks like. When it's the summer and spring, it's like eh. Because I really like these dark, vampy, colorful, like not colorful, but dark, vampy fall makeup looks. Like these browns and blacks. And I feel like I'm more creative during the fall. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know if it's just me. But I feel like I'm so much more creative during the fall than I am in like any other season. I think I'm gonna go with like an icy white inner corner just because I'm gonna go in with the Nicole Guerrero glow kit in Forever Lit for the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face. I feel like I wanted to talk about something else but I can't remember what. Oh! Are any of you guys going to IMAT LA this year in January? I'm going with a few of my girls. My friend Angelica and Shelly are going to come stay at my house. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have not really... I haven't hung out with them legit since I moved and it sucks. I've seen Angelica... I've seen both of them a few times since I moved, but it's not the same anymore. I mean, of course it's not going to be the same, you know, like... I was hanging out with Angelica every single day of my life before before I moved here. Like every single day I was with her. Like regardless of where we were at, I was with her every single day. And it kind of just sucks to like lose touch with people. So yeah, so we're gonna go do IMATS. We're staying in my house. We're gonna go out to eat afterwards and drink which i am pretty freaking excited first we were gonna get an airbnb but honestly like i didn't really want to spend money on an airbnb when i live 10 15 minutes away from the from the convention center so i just didn't think it was very necessary so I'm going to go in with lashes. I'm going to be using the Coco Lashes in 9 to 5. I haven't ever, I haven't tried these, this style. I really like the Coco Lashes. One, because like they have really, really nice, they have really nice quality lashes. And then two, most of them, I don't even have to cut them. Like they already come like pretty much fitted for my eyes, for my eye shape. I'm running out of glue and I was hoping to get more glue at IMATS. But I've looked at the list and it doesn't look like House of Lashes is going to be there this year. This video is hella long, you guys. <laughs> it's already 12. I started at like 10. I've really been wanting to try the Batty B lashes. I heard those are really great and they look so freaking gorgeous. Like, ugh, I live for them. I really want to try some. These aren't as dramatic as I thought they were going to be. So who got their hands on the James Charles and Morphe collab? Let me know in the links down below. And let me know if you've used it and what you think. I still have not used it myself. I have not used it myself. But I've been wanting to use it. I have it. I just haven't filmed with it yet. So okay. So I really really love like 
the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. But, oh my god, this wand pisses me off. The wand is so flimsy, it's so hard to get back into the tube. I end up making such a huge mess. I'm going to use the Jara Cosmetics Lip Pencil. These are really great lip pencils, you guys. If you guys are looking for, like, affordable lip pencils, these are it. I mean, they're not drugstore affordable they are 16 dollars, but i have a discount code it is an affiliate code just letting you guys know that i do get a slight commission off of it if you guys do purchase through my link you guys don't have to you guys don't have to use my code but you guys get 30 percent off so so i'm actually going to go in with sugar and spice These lip liners just like light on so easily and that's what I love about these. I hate my lips, you guys. I'm slightly debating if I should get my lips redone again. I still want to get my boobs done. But oh my god, did you guys hear about that lady that went to Mexico to get plastic surgery done? I don't remember what exactly she got done. But like they freak they messed it up. Like they they screwed up the where they placed the anesthesia and she was brain dead. Like she died. And it's just like, holy shit, like, shit like that can happen to anybody, you know? And it's kind of scary. This, like, lip color went perfect. So I'm a little extra, so I'm going to be using two setting sprays today. I'm going to be using my Jara Cosmetics Slate All Day Setting Spray in Coconut. And then I'm going to go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Because your girl is extra. Which, to be honest with you, I don't even know why I'm setting my makeup. Because it's not like I'm going to wear it all day long. Because I'm going to go to sleep right now. Alright you guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. I wasn't like... Why does my lighting keep changing? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!